All right, welcome back everybody. My name's Austin. Is Litecoin, the cryptocurrency, a good investment in 2021? What do you think? More importantly, what is Litecoin? How does Litecoin differentiate itself from other top cryptocurrencies in the space? How is Litecoin different than Bitcoin, for example? And last but not least, I wanna talk about Litecoin from a price perspective, because we know based on history, Litecoin usually performs very, very well if Bitcoin is in a bull market. And Bitcoin is in a bull market in 2021. Take four years ago in 2017, from January until December, Bitcoin 20X, it went from around $1,000 to almost $20,000 in a year, a 20X. Litecoin in that same time frame started the year around $4 per coin and finished the year 12 months later, around $360 per coin. That was about a 90X on your money. Now, I am not a registered financial advisor. I can't see the future. And I ultimately don't know what the price of any cryptocurrency will do tomorrow, and neither do you. But this trend of Litecoin oscillating around Bitcoin, it's not new. In Litecoin's lifespan, this pattern has happened over and over and over again. So point is that because on Altcoin Daily, we drop a video every single day demystifying the cryptocurrency market. Today, I want you to check the timestamps down below and let's go over is Litecoin a good investment and what's my personal price prediction for Litecoin by the end of 2021. So let's jump in. What is Litecoin? Litecoin is a peer-to-peer -peer internet currency that enables instant near zero cost payments to anyone in the world. Litecoin is an open sourced global payment network that is fully decentralized without any central authority. So much like Bitcoin, it is a permissionless form of internet money. In fact, you could probably use a very similar definition to describe Bitcoin as well. So now let's dig deeper. How is Litecoin different? Well, Litecoin, one of the first altcoins was created back in 2011, about two years after Bitcoin, and it was designed to be faster and cheaper and also have four times the supply. So while Bitcoin has a fixed supply of only 21 million, Litecoin has a fixed supply of only 84 million. There will only ever be 84 million Litecoin ever, ever. And those are really the main differences. The one additional detail I will add is that with something like Bitcoin, we don't know who created Bitcoin. It was a synonymous person or group of people named Satoshi Nakamoto. With Litecoin, we do know who created it. A man named Charlie Lee, who was an ex-Google employee, chose to create the blockchain and had the vision to create a lighter version of Bitcoin. Thus, Litecoin was born. So now you have a base understanding of this cryptocurrency. And I do want to share with you some of the most significant features coming to Litecoin in 2021. We'll talk about the potential here. But let me preface by sharing my thoughts, my take on Litecoin in 2021, and then how that relates to potential price per LTC. Because if you're maybe newer to the space, you may hear, hey, not only are transactions way cheaper, way faster if you use Litecoin, but also just based on units, one LTC is way less expensive than one BTC. I did it. I found the next Bitcoin. Yes, I like it. Well, let me set you straight right there. We are seeing this bull market in 2021 be institutionally driven. Some of the most respected traditional hedge funds, investors, as well as publicly traded companies choosing Bitcoin over all other cryptocurrencies to accumulate to hodl. Now, why is that? Why would they choose Bitcoin and not Litecoin? You see, the revolution of Bitcoin is not that we have a currency that's now fast and cheap. We have fast and cheap now. I can Venmo you. I can PayPal you instantly and you'll receive the money instantly. So that's not the revolution here. The revolution with Bitcoin is censorship resistant, permissionless money. Bitcoin is the most decentralized. It is the most censorship resistant. There's way more nodes for Bitcoin, which validate the network transactions. The development of Bitcoin is way more decentralized than Litecoin. 
and Bitcoin mining in the year 2021 is way more decentralized than other similar proof of work coins. And that's really what's valuable. That's what people want to accumulate. And also the other big differentiator that you should know if you're looking at Bitcoin, if you're looking at Litecoin, is that Bitcoin, which was created in the year 2009, really the first one and a half to two years, it had no price. So it traded those first few years just as a digital collectible. And then around 2011, people started to put a price on it as the network continued to grow, as opposed to Litecoin, which was launched about two years later. And by that time, people had sort of discovered that, hey, cryptocurrencies seem to have value there. So the supply either got bought or mined up a lot quicker by way bigger players hoarding and accumulating. Now, Litecoin is still decentralized, it's still permissionless, but everything's a spectrum. And there's a reason that we're seeing way more institutional demand for Bitcoin. These copycats are valuable, but they're no Bitcoin. Hey, why don't you tell me down below what you think? And all that being said, and now that you know the difference, that's not to say that Litecoin won't pump. It is an oscillator. It performs well in bull markets. So let's get to it. Let's get to price targets for Litecoin for this year. And to do that, let's define oscillator, a thread on altcoins from on-chain analyst Willy Woo. Altcoins are nuanced. We have protocol coins, utility coins, security tokens, non-fungible tokens, NFTs. But to an investor, there are only two types of altcoins, oscillators and degenerators. And you can spot them on the chart of the entire market top 2,412 coins against Bitcoin's price. Now, what this means to you, it means that the vast majority of altcoins are degens, meaning their price chart has a measurable half-life like radioactive decay. This one specifically right here, this one is named coin, a promising coin of its era, although there are over 2,000 examples of prices of these coins degenerating like this. Those are coins you probably want to pass on. Because on the other hand, there are a handful of oscillators. Oscillators are proving store of value properties. So to qualify to be an oscillator, they need to keep up with BTC USD gains. So not just USD gains, they need to have gains against BTC as well, at least in periods of oscillation. To find them, plot their BTC value it must oscillate around a horizontal line for at least one full bull bear cycle around four years. More cycles are better. So Dogecoin is an example of this. Litecoin, of course, is an example of this. And we see multiple years. This orange is the BTC value. This blue is the USD value. We see multiple years Litecoin going outperforming BTC year after year after year again. And that's how we got that 90x four years ago in 2017. So what do we have to expect from Litecoin this year? Well, Litecoin does act as a test bed for Bitcoin, meaning that because it's a copy of the code, whatever can be developed on Litecoin should be able to be developed on Bitcoin. And we can test it out on quote unquote, less valuable, less important chains before we implement it into Bitcoin. Another thing that I think is big for 2021 is Litecoin's Mimblewimble code will be ready by Q1 of this year. Mimblewimble adds privacy, adds fungibility to Litecoin. And unlike Monero or Zcash or other privacy coins we have, Mimblewimble adds privacy without making a transaction bulky. So it's lighter, it's faster, and it still keeps the privacy. That's going to be big this year. Even founder Charlie Lee says, fungibility is the only property of sound money that is missing from Bitcoin and Litecoin. Now that the scaling debate is behind us, the next battleground will be on fungibility and privacy. So Mimblewimble is coming. And while around four years ago, Charlie Lee did sell the majority of his Litecoin holdings and the community was sort of mad at him at the time, it did in a way decentralize the project a little bit from its founder and that, plus the privacy aspect, does add, does make Litecoin interesting. One of crypto's most poetic chapters will be the second coming of Litecoin. The importance of Satoshi Lite, Charlie Lee, distancing himself 
will be appreciated once battle lines are drawn for the final boss. The war on privacy begins and Litecoin leads BTC in, in implementing new privacy tech. So there's a reason to be excited. There's a reason to see value in Litecoin, at least for this year, in a bull market in 2021. And of course, one of the most significant things, in my opinion, for Litecoin, as cryptocurrency gets put on more and more people's radar, is from a regulatory point of view, it seems to have either been grandfathered in or just flown under the radar of the SEC and other regulation entities in the US and abroad. The SEC killed ICOs. In fact, they're still going after ICOs from four years ago. DeFi could be next. I think one of the main reasons PayPal, for example, chose to list Litecoin is because they see it as sort of a safer play than any of the newer coins like DeFi. There's more of a safety there, even grayscale, a way for average people as well as institutions to get exposure to cryptocurrencies. Grayscale has a Litecoin trust. Grayscale is one of the entities buying up Litecoin right now. And of course, we've seen other major smart contract platforms like Cardano, like Flare Network, for example, choose Litecoin to interoperate with and bring Litecoin into sort of the smart contract DeFi realm. Flare Network plans to integrate with Litecoin to bring decentralized finance services, DeFi, to the currency, allowing Litecoin to be used trustlessly on Flare with Ethereum-style smart contracts and promising interoperability and composability for it. So smart contract platforms want to integrate with Litecoin. It's clear that Litecoin is still in the conversation. So if Litecoin 90 x from about 4 or $5 to $360 four years ago, what potentially could Litecoin do today? Well, let's be safe because on this channel, I would rather under promise over deliver. And by the way, there's no guarantee that any of these altcoins pump, but I do think BTC is gonna have a very, very good year. And if at minimum Bitcoin goes from around 20,000 to definitely 100,000, but maybe even 200,000, a 10X from where Bitcoin started the year, it's possible. Litecoin oscillates. Litecoin could easily have a 20x from the start of the year. And at the beginning of this year, around January 2nd, Litecoin was between $130 and $140. A 20x from something that was around $137 is $2,740 per LTC. Things could get crazy. But you let me know what you think about Litecoin this year as an investment. Like always, see you tomorrow. And by the way, there are two videos popping up right now. Check them out. Get educated on cryptocurrency. See you tomorrow.